Let's see if I can convince you that disc and rings are the best planner system out there. At least that's my opinion. Welcome to Planner Nerd Plans. I am Kate. I do planner related videos and everything else planner ideas. All right. So, convincing you why I love, well, it's more why I love rings and discs. Okay. So, you if you have followed me um, before, you know this off the bat. That with all my plan with me's, all my crafts, and so forth. If you're new, welcome. So, a little bit about me. Um, I love, always loved paper and pen. Um, I found this love again a couple years ago, and that's when I started finding a planner community and getting ideas. Um, at first, when I saw these disc things, I was like, wait, how does that work? Kind of thing. And then, once I discovered how it works, that you just... The paper stays in there because of how it's punched and these rivets here then it was no problem um but but also i saw it as since you can take it the paper out and place it anywhere in you can customize it so i have in my freaking plan here is that i created these section things but i made them short like the paper not big like the covers so then I can still see uh, tabs on the top because I like to do that I need to make myself some more um, for other ideas but I have what I like about section about rings and disc and it's the same for my work planner here um, is how I can divide it into sections have multiple calendars for, and usually I do it by quarterly so that's how that is but also I have a section for extra paper notes all that kind of things back here I can put in I can put in folders to hold little stickers that I might use um, later on now there's not a lot in the disc bound community a cover like this happy planner used to make a cover like this where you would have all your pockets and such but a lot of people still use this like most spiral ones that they have this like sometimes people have a bunch of sticky notes here so they can grab and do whatever um, I prefer my sticky notes in the mo next month so then I can write down sticky note and put it down before I do my setup and then I'll move it to this one for the next month but then also I know where it is is the next month I have not set up and then when it's all done I put it in behind here when I'm done at the end of the quarter like so if I'm in December you'll see my sticky notes back here and then that one sticky note that you saw that I I put sticky notes for the next quarter here to remind myself but I was worried about losing these or missing these like a couple weeks have already passed and I found a sticky note there I'm like oh I should toss that so I do have another system for that right now I'm doing using up my top dot grid um, notebooks I got and then as soon as I find a good ring system for or uh, maybe find, get some makes try to make my own dot grid paper I'll probably put it in these smaller a5 ones okay um, one thing I like about rings and discs they come in a variety of sizes there is four main sizes for the disc one of them is an a5 size um, which is down to eight discs instead of nine nine is the traditional happy planner one which is about nine and a quarter by seven um, all of them come in traditional um, eight and a half by eleven paper which is this one my gold notebook um, and other various sizes I know happy planner has come out with um, the same size as their half letter which is called the skinny classic or the skinny mini and then the mini ones are about seven seven and a half seven by four and a half something like that which is close to a b6 size but not quite it's b6 is a little bit wider okay so but besides um all these cool a5 ring stuff 
I, what I like about the rings is that I can s stick my sticky notes and my little, I can paper clip cool things, decorate this part, or put business cards in, or the coupon cards and so forth but I also can still like a ring binder that you used in school separate it in sections and use it um, in this one I have a dashboard in the back to protect the paper and such and the rings but also I found this little sticky notepad that I thought was perfect back here so I put her back here so in case I want to write any to-do notes too so what else I like about ring planners is um, some of them have pen holders so all you have to do is take this and go somewhere you don't and you, if you need to write something out it's easy to open it up write it out and put it wherever you need to put it and not dig for a pen in a pen purse or whatever like that now um, you also what's cool about rings and discs is that like this is my own I test my own planner inserts this is an older version, but um, there's many different other planner shops as well that create the A5, the personal, personal Y, B6 sizes. So A5 is like the biggest in the ring size. So, but if you want to go bigger, disc or next. And so this is why I like using the disc for my bigger, um, yes, my bigger ones where um, if I want to go smaller and more compact for the purse, I go rings. Also, what's nice about disc is you can create your own books. Now, these kind of look like the half sheet want planners, but these are not planners. These are my sticker books. So basically, I just took a piece of paper. I figured out what the width and added a half an inch for the sticker pages. So these are the sticker pages either. The books have fallen apart. I've actually have now a stack of books that are very thin or uh, pages that have fallen out certain books. So I've actually put that in here. Also, because this one's chunkier, um, my ABC one was getting quite low and falling apart drastically that I consolidated them down to a page or two some of the fonts and some of the fonts are not because they still have plenty of that but also I went through my some of my sticker books and I ripped out all the ABC's from there is two so then I can see all of what I have I still have one more book of these but it's like okay there's these other ones in the other sticker books so I told those out and made them and this is just a scratch piece of paper I punch with my punch and I just use one of those uh, permanent adhesive glue rollers and just paste them to both sides of this piece of paper and now I can use that sometimes I will where's that one yeah like this one I consolidate I will do is like okay I might move that over there and is there something on this page okay so I will do about once a quarter what I do is I go through this sticker these two sticker books here and I consolidate and what's nice is it's my my instead of doing what everybody else has done I've seen kept the folders whatever I don't need that I just need and what's great about this is I can take multiple sticker books and clump and organize it to like stickers and then my brain's like, okay, I need to find a girls' night book. Okay, here's some girls' night ones. Or I need to find coffee ones. Here's the coffee ones. Or I need weather ones. You know, I started consolidating and moving stickers to like stickers. Like all the date night, lunch date ones, dinner date ones are there. Um, the old what's for dinner ones. So it's just one of those things I think is... You know, and I took these off of an old plan a planner that I wasn't using anymore, but I didn't want to lose those date dot stickers, so I put them on here. So that's what happened here. So it's just using these old sticker sheets and finding the right ones that um, just do it. So these are all old Happy Planner stickers. I still have other stickers I could use. 
But when the books start falling apart on me, I created these. Um, this one used to have just the mini disc like this one, but it got chunky um, due to the fact that the ABC is back here and my next project is to make another cover like this for my scrap paper and then put the ABCs in and put everything back in the mini disc because I don't use mini disc that often. So I try to create things to use my stuff. Um, what else is nice about binders and disc round is that besides creating things to organize, how it be easier for you to see and organize, it's also a great way to not worry about writing near here. So as for everyone is different, I'm gonna use this as an example because I have it up. So for some of us right-handed people, it is hard to write on this part of spirals. You, um, luckily you can do this, the same with this, but also, um, you got bumps in your paper, like you got the stickers, they kind of create bumps on the background, um, either side. What's nice is that you can take these pages out, lay them on a flat surface, and then write smoothly without worrying about sticker bumps. So that's awesome. And then you can put it back where you want or like I said, reorganize it how you would like to organize it. Hmm, is there anything else? Yeah, I got everything on my list. Yeah. So I just wanted to go more in depth, especially for those people who are newer to the planner community, that there's many different, besides the traditional spiral or bound ones that you see at the grocery stores, or other target shops that there's these other ones out here and a little plug um my planner shop we i do um a5 b6 personal wide and personal size so those four sizes and rings i have the 2021 calendars all up and ready for you to go i also can print this if you don't want color I print it, print it in grayscale, so then you get it in black and white. Um, what else? Oh, and then I do mini in classic, or what I, I call it, the mini classic big of the happy planner size, but I call it something different, so I'm not copyright infringing on them. So it's called small, medium, and large. Um, I do that. I have do have coil planners for those who wanted it. I know a few people who did, and so I've only made um, a few like that. Also, um, comment below. Let me know if there's anything you don't see in my shop. My shop is always linked in the description with a coupon code for you to use on your first order. Um, I have several coupon codes out there that you can use once. Um, just gather them and check it off. Um, I just try to give uh, every opportunity I can for my customers to save a little money if they think my prices are not in their budget. Um, but if they are, great. Um, what else? So that's the other thing is just there's, I'm not the only one who also does discount inserts. Um, people just buy off whatever um, Happy Planner makes and then they like Franken plan what they want. But, um, I do have competitors out there who do disc bound too, and um, probably have done it a little bit longer than I have because other people have found them, but I'm okay with that. Um, and there is a reason why I created inserts for disc and rings is because I couldn't find one that I liked, um, more simplified with a little bit of color, not all this. Um, it is pretty to see all the flowers and stuff, but I wanted something simplified. But definitely next year, I am going to use one of my one or two of my planners in here. I can't decide which. I'm still deciding on my 2021 planners, but definitely going to use for my catch-all here one of my planners. But I have still old happy planners that I want to redate and reuse so that, <clears throat> excuse me, so that I'm not, you know, wasting my money and tossing that money aside. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I am 
you know, working my way through that, trying to figure out my 2021. Um, comment below also if you um, have decided already your 2021. If not, we still got two more months of the year, and I'm still trying to figure out how to, you know, make sure people know about me in case they want to just keep their covers and their disc. Um, there's many shops who make covers, but also you could. I used an old Happy Planner cover here, and then I laminated paper a little too short, so that's why it's taped down here. But um, old old Happy Planner uh, cover here. I just taped my own stuff on top. There's binders like this I got from Amazon for a cheap like fifteen dollars with uh, vegan leather or pleather or whatever you want to call it, polyester feather or make your own get your laminator out and a couple cardstock and cut it to whatever size you want so that's one reason i love rings and discs i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let youtube know that you enjoy this subscribe if you're new and let me know in the comments below that you're new with some glasses and say hey and let me know if you have any questions and i will welcome you to my channel also, don't forget to share with your friends on social media if you're trying to convince them of, you know, if there were a disc bound or rings or so forth. Uh, like I said, one thing I like about it, it's more personalized and you can put things in right or organize them so you're not losing them. Um, bolt journal and spirals are a great idea, but I can't, it's hard to add and remove pages to it without looking so messy. So. Don't forget to check out my other videos that I've linked at the end here, and I'll see you in that next one.